YouTube, what's happening, man? We are back. I see we got an early chapter this week. I am excited about this. That's good news. That's good news. That's uh, that's good for everybody. You know, you know, today's hump day. It's Wednesday. You got to, you know, it's the middle of the week. I know people having long weeks. It's tough. But we are here for more Oda masterpiece, more Oda greatness. I've seen the title of the chapter. This one's called Miss Buckingham Stussy. We have had a lot of theories been going around, a lot of speculations taking place, obviously. You know, Miss Buckingham, as you guys can see from my thumbnail, Paneeth. My mans, how you doing, boss? We are here. Um, yeah, a lot of speculation's been going on, a lot of theories along the lines of Miss Buckins is Miss Buckingham, because Miss Buckingham Stussy is the first successful clone of the Mad Spirus, Mad Scientist, which consisted of Vega Punk, you know, and a couple other special scientists. Um, I'm excited for the chapter, y'all. I'm hoping that it's another masterpiece. I'm hoping that I'm guessing we might see Weevil in this. I, I believe we might, it might end up being a flashback chapter because if we're getting, no, it's Miss Buckingham Stussy. So no, we have to get some, I don't know. Oda likes to move quick sometimes. Sometimes he likes to move slow. I don't know how to predict this one because if it's a, if it's fast paced, we're either gonna we're gonna get like the full backstory or like get to see Miss Buckingham or Miss Miss Buckins as well. Or if it goes slow, we're gonna get um you know just this is all Stussy chapter uh, Miss Buckingham Stussy chapter, and then we'll get a little bit of. You know, a little bit of a flashback, probably close to the end or something, or midway through about Miss uh, Buck, uh, Miss Buckins. But either way, you know, there's speculation that Weevil is in fact actually a clone of Whitebeard, and people are asking who are all these other clones that we have taking place. Who else might be a clone? Like Zoro might be a clone of uh, Ryuma, and who else a couple other crazy theories i've been hearing i don't believe that's the case but i did hear a theory or excuse me i read a theory when i was watching um king of lightning cole's uh reaction there's someone in the comments who broke down what the energy source was that they had in the ancient kingdom and it like dawned on me it was amazing actually um i don't know if i could find it through I ain't gonna waste time trying to find it. But it was kind of about the equation of like E equals MC squared, which is like, you know, a famous, um, um, what's it called? Not theory, um, equation, the, the equation for energy. And it's like the M is memories. Uh, e equals MC equals creativity. So kind of like your imagination. And square is the, is the poneglyphs. So where e, where e is energy, it's like, so if you combine the creativity creativity with the imagination, if you, um, if you combine the poneglyphs and the memories, that somehow that combines together to make the energy source. But the real question is whose memories would it be? So I saw that theory. I, I wish I could shout the guy out right now, but uh, that was that was very um, interesting to see, and I actually could very much see that happening. That was a great theory. I was very impressed by that. Um, so without further ado, I don't want to waste any more time. I appreciate everybody that is tuning in. Anybody who's watching this right now, make sure you guys hit subscribe button. That would greatly help me out. I right, shall. Chapter 1073 of Goat Peace. Miss Buckingham Stussy. So we have Vegapunk. Where is he? He is... Okay, 53 on the tank. I don't know what that number is for, but it looks as though... Oh, okay. So we have the Mads... We have Mads uh, here with Queen, Judge, and Caesar. And it looks as though they probably made those tanks, but... Vegapunk ended up changing what the um 
the ammunition is. So I'm guessing he put like flowers inside all of them. I don't know why the tank is 53, though. I feel like that's something important. Uh, Jerma's Emotionless Excursion. Uh, volume 23. The flower that uh, grows in gunpowder. The flower that grows in gunpowder. There's a flower that grows in gunpowder. Interesting. Vegapunk receives the I, uh, the Ibel Prize for the GP flower. So you see... I wonder if they're upset. I wonder if like the rest of them are upset that he won the prize, or is it along the lines that they actually changed what the invention is? Hmm, interesting. Shout out to Goda. So much masterpieces in just like 15, 16 pages, or like technically 14 to 15. 13 to 15. All right. Uh, Kakazu knocked out. What will Rob Lucci do in the face of betrayal? This is interesting because she can. How strong is she? How strong is she? Because she's because she's meant to be human. Somewhere she got turned, or at some point, either something happened with her programming. I don't know who is she really working for. Kaku, I don't believe this. Says Rob Lucci, and she's out here wiping the blood. Ooh, she quick, quick. Ka, Kami, Kami, e, unbroken heart, Zazin Shin. So, so Rob went for the uh, finger of death, and she made a clone of herself. If you won't accept it, should I kill you first? Oh, she nice like that. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. He's not in his awakened form. He's not in his zone form. But I still pretty, you know, points going. I don't know. Can we say points going down on, on, on Rob yet? Jeez. Okay, so she's got sea stone lipstick. It looks like. And... She's like, you're so wild. Sea stone. And she bites Rob Lucci. Top, get him out the top 30. Get him out of here. I'm, get him out the top 30. He was never top 30, bro. Just get him out of here. Whipple. <laughs> Miss Bucket, get him out of here. What did she? Oh, she put the thing to his neck. She put the um, cause she quick. She put the lipstick to his neck. Wapu, you bastard! I know you guys are strong, so I'm not going. I know you guys are strong, so I'm not going to fight you head on. Wapu, <laughs> please forgive me. No. Nah. Excuse me, y'all. I'm getting over a cold. Hold on. What we got here? Oh no, I don't. I don't. I ain't trying to read that. Hold on. All right, let's go. Eh? Wait a minute. What is the meaning of this? So Brooke is shocked. Brooke confused. Why is CP zero? Attacking CP zero. Oh, so oh, Zoro jumped on Zoro jumped to the ground. Are they are they split among themselves? It's Stussy. Okay, so Stussy is talking to someone at the that has to be the world government. It looks like it, the symbol on the snail. I put both of them to sleep. That's who she was talking to. <laughs> All right. So wow, they 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 made that look smooth. So Stussy is the one. 
on. So Stussy is the one that Vegapunk had on the island to protect them. I put both of them to sleep. St- amazing. Stussy made her move. York, hold on tight. I guess because she is an invention of Vegapunk. Or sorry, of Mads. What what what's going on? Did Rob Lucci get beaten? You ain't no top 30. I don't know what y'all niggas been talking about. Y'all talking about top 30. You ain't no top 30. Top 30. Top 30. Top 50. All right. It might be cap, but top 30. All right. Well, well, what a surprise. Even after 20 years in hiding, she remains our ally. I'll be damned. Did you se- did you send your own spy into the intelligence agency? I didn't mean to, but that's how it turned out. <laughs> I love it. So that is who they were talking about, the other person on the island. It has to be. But doctor, Lucci and I have the same level of authority. I can't override his orders. I can't stop them. Okay. You've done enough, Susie. We're on our way. Okay, so now they can... Okay, good, because the Vega Pumps should be able to stop them. But if that's the case, if that's the case, we might get uh, um, Kizaru this, this chapter. Okay, so pretty much, if we don't stop those kids, we'll be pinned here. It seems, however, those kids, I feel like I've seen them before. Kuma, same, especially him, Hawkeye. Oh, come on. Especially him. They didn't even show him. Where is he? Especially him. All right. I can't tell what that first screenshot is. Okay, it's probably just like blasts that are taking place. Damn it, they destroyed the lab, but for some reason it's easier to go exit. Why? Well, they destroyed it. Finally, I'm outside. Hey, you, Seraphim. Huh? Woo! <laughs> Hold up. Next page. That's a clash. Now that's a clash. Oh, shit. This is going to get hard. Really? Interesting. So even the Hawkeye... Sorry. So the Hawkeye Seraphim is surprised. So, excuse me. S-Hawk is shocked by Zoro being able to stop him. And then Zoro says, "In the closer I look, the more I see some humanity in you, which is interesting. But it's like he, his face is still like, I want to cut this nigga down. What the hell are you? Was he blown back? What in the world? So, so, um... Lilith is surprised that um, S-Hawk was going to attack her. But she was slow to give the orders, technically, no? Seraphim, stop. Stop attacking. So he just yelled it out. All right, yeah, we're going to need all of them for the Navy just now. No way, he's... Hmm. Hmm. That's dangerous. Edison. So Lilith showed Edison loved. Okay, it did work. Excellent. The seraphim stopped. What the hell are these? Explain. Sh- uh, Shaka, I put sea stone on Luchi and Kaku. Who did that? Oh, the, uh, Stussy, probably. Okay. Thank you, Stussy. We're leaving the island. You should come to understood. Hey, you know, you're just adding more people. <laughs> yeah, no, the ship going to be full. 
Hey, Bonnie, where did you go? Old man Punk, where did you go? Where that old man go? I can't leave without him. Facts. However, an event will occur. Vegapunk is gone missing? Like missing, missing? So you don't even have the main Vegapunk anymore. They don't have the main Vegapunk anymore. Wow, oh, shit. So Vic, so he really went missing. So they rounded everybody up. Ah, oh, shoot, bro. You can, it's about the website. I don't know if I can tech. I can tech on website. I don't know if something's gonna happen, but. If I get if I get flagged, actually, I'm gonna message you the site right now. Hold on, just because I ain't trying to get flagged on here. I'm just helping out the community, y'all. I'm just helping out the community. Mm -hmm. I I just send it to you. Um, hey Bonnie, where did you go? Old man punk, where did that old man go? I can't leave without him. However, an an event will occur. The disappearance of Dr. Vega, but how has he disappeared though? Oh wait. Nah. Because I was going to say, perhaps he took on, uh, perhaps he took on, he, perhaps he took on Kuma's memories? Maybe? New World, Sphinx Island, that's a hard name. So, hometown of the, of the Pirate Whitebeard, oh, okay. Wait, this is where Marco just lived in general, right? I know he was living. Did he? Is he buried in his? No. He might be buried in his hometown. I can't remember. Hey, Marco. It was really scary. I wasn't scared. The Marines came. My bad, guys. Sorry you guys had to go through all that. So they came to Whitebeard's Island looking for Marco, maybe? It's not Mar it's not Marco's fault. It's those mean Marines' faults. Uh they said they want to take away Whitebeard's treasure. They sound just like pirates. His treasure. Isn't his treasure his family? They said stay still and there won't be any casualties. His treasure. What treasure does he have? Miss Buckingham? This place isn't allied with the isn't allied with the world government. Laws won't protect you here. Right, Whitebeard's treasure has gone has got to be here. If you don't tell us, uh, we'll take it as a uh, rebellion against the Marines. If we shoot each one of you one at a time, maybe you'll tell us. No, no, uh, no, no, we won't. Don't point that gun at my younger brother. We got to give you guys money just to be treated like human beings, you scum. Are you sure? Acting so tough, even though Marco isn't here? Tell us. Yeah, stop this. Grandma. Stop that. That's the elderly grandma. She kind of looks like Bonnie a little, little, little. Hmm? Why is he shaking? Oh, Weevil came through. Weevil came through. Weevil came through. Wow, don't lay your hands on my hometown. Yep, that's a clone. That's a clone. That's clone talk. That's clone talk. 
This is Dada's hometown. Call it in. I can't say that word. Colonel Littell. Yeah, what? Weevil? Wee! <laughs> this is Dad's hometown. It's Weevil. A naval ship should have been headed towards them after the warlords were disbanded. We couldn't come into contact with their military unit. They got defeated. Everyone, just as though his strength is monstrous. Get back to those ships. We'll wait for more reinforcements. Calling from Sphinx, the former warlord Weevil has shown up. We need backup. If that huge guy hadn't come, our village would have been toast. He really was a hero. I'm glad you're all safe. But Marco, who do you think showed up right after that? Kizaru. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. Did I miss something? Who do you think showed up right after that? Okay. I don't think Kizaru went there. Kizaru, here's the tea and snacks. Did you test for poison in all of them? Of course, I'll deliver them. Stay. Uh, I'll deliver them. Stay back. So Marine World Government. Dr. Vegapunk, I see. Have you met each other? Hmm. A long time ago, just once. It is quite disappointing how things have become lately. The world's highest power, the five elder stars, St. J. Garcia Saturn. The highest powers are moving mysteriously. So he, he is even going, is attempting. So we might see him in action. Even he's attempting. Does he have the sword? No, he's not the one with the sword. Even he's attempting. Even he's attempting to pull up at Egghead and want smoke. Hmm. The Navy Admiral Greenbull came here. Oh, Greenbull went there. She know she knows Marco. The Navy Admiral Greenbull came here. I couldn't do anything. Former Rocks Pirate member, self-proclaimed sci a scientist. Oh, so wait. So Miss Buckingham is a scientist. Bring back my son and hand over the inheritance of White Bear Newgate. In whole, oh, okay. Why was that one chapter there? Why was that one page there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kizaru did da, 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 tested for poison. Have we have, have you met each other? Once a long time ago, the highest powers are meeting each other okay and then they're saying that she's saying that green bull had come and took down weevil so the, now the so the so the navy so the uh navy now has green bull sorry the navy now has weevil and she knows, obviously she knows Marco. She knows him, obviously. But she was a part of MAD. She was a scientist. So from after, hold on. So after the Rocks Pirates, she went to MAD? Or... Mm, Former Rocks Pirate member, self-proclaimed scientist. Okay, Mads Red. Okay, Revo, mommy. 
<laughs> Mads resident, Miss Buckingham, real name Buckingham Stussy, former Rocks Pirate member. So, damn, she... So, okay, no, think about it. Think about it. Whitebeard was obviously around. Whitebeard, Roger were around at the same time. So she was around. She always, So if she was with Whitebeard, technically, she had to have been, obviously, it makes sense that she was around during the Rocks times. But if she was around for the Rocks times, how old was she? Like she, oh, sorry, like she must have been very young to have been with the Rocks Pirates, based off what it seems like. Okay, he said he went to prison for protecting his father's village. He's a stubborn chi child. He's truly Newgate and my son. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for protecting the village. Like, I don't know about nothing else, but thanks for protecting the super block. All right. She said, Marco, surely you surely you believe that White Bird and Weevil are, are blood related, right? There's one person that can prove it, and it's Dr. Vegapunk. I mean, like, ain't nobody else can do a couple blood tests. I think technically it is his son to an extent if it is his clone. You know what I mean? Like if it is his clone, I think that it would be his son. Right? That that would make sense. That's what makes sense to me. Okay, we'll be on break next week. Next chapter will be released. WJ eleven. I don't know what that means, but decent chapter. We got a couple. We got a little bit of info. We got a couple of. That's a hard photo. Yeah, no, we got a little bit of info here. So breaking it down. Stussy was, what's this? They got a dragon out here looking. <laughs> think, teach, think. Why are you pulling me? Why are you pulling me closer? Instead of running away, you're pulling me closer. <laughs> I will beat your ass. I'm looking at all the uh, drawings that they made. Um, and then they have a piece of, they have... Lucci. Okay, let's start there. All right. Review of the chapter. Good chapter. We confirm Lucci ain't top 30. <laughs> Lucci ain't top 30. Let's get out of here. Ain't no sneak. I don't give a damn if it was a sneak attack. He sneaked attacked her. And him, he wasn't fast enough. He didn't, he decided not to go inside zone or whatever the case may be. We can put him at 33. That's why I see Black Clover issue it is. So we'll give him at 33, but he ain't in the top 30. Um, so Stussy isn't like a powerhouse. She's obviously can be overpowered to an extent, but because of her powers and like not knowing what they are, it's, it's it's possible to immobilize her opponent. Um, she turns out she's who Vegapunk had on the island. We see that Vegapunk actually, um, it looks like we have the Seraphim either coming with us or preparing to. Oh, we have one of the, the Goro say pulling up to the island too, which is interesting. So we need to see what they actually made out of. And because this is going to actually be this isn't going to be an easy getaway. Not at all. Like not at all. But something happens where they're saying that an, uh, an occasion takes place. And what is it? He disappears or he's kidnapped. There's two very different things. The disappearance. 
So he's disappeared. They didn't say he was kidnapped. It's the disappearance of Vega Punk. And the question is, in what form did he disappear? He might have gone to the moon. But he asked to go with the straw hats. So it looks as though we're just going to have the, the rest of the Vega Punks take place. Uh, sorry, take, uh, like, jump aboard uh, the Sunny. And then we're also going to have the Seraphim. But we're, but we're going to have a pretty difficult getaway, it seems like. That's that's what I'm concluding right now. That's what I'm concluding right now. Um, but we have four Seraphim, which is pretty strong, which is pretty good. Like, the clash between... And the clash between Zoro... And S Hawk is sorry. Yes, Zoro and S Hawk is legendary. That's gonna go down because but he says he can sense the humanity inside S Hawk, which is interesting because I guess each one of them has well no, they showed like a sense of humanity because um what's her name? Because um S Snake ended up speaking with who is it she she made a comment to someone to jimbe he made because jimbe had said something to her and she like blushed or something like along those lines um and she actually like articulated she actually communicated with him as opposed to just she she helped them get away right um which is interesting we know why we know why but like there's a sense of humanity that they were able to add on to them like Jimbe I'm sure has a little bit of it um didn't Bonnie didn't see no Bonnie was knocked out yeah Bonnie was knocked out even before she saw Esper so that's that yeah, that's something to point out she she was unconscious before even Esper showed up so it really doesn't look like because I feel as if she would have had some sort of emotional connection with S Bear, or she would have said something along those lines in regards to S Bear if um, she was still conscious at the time. But the real question is, like I was thinking earlier, or my previous prediction was, is that Vega Punk might have perhaps taken on Kuma's memories because she, he said that that was enough to kill a single individual. And if, but if he jumped inside Kuma's memories, it would get uploaded to the other, um, to the other Stella bodies, or to the other bodies, essentially. That's interesting. That is interesting. Um, but I, but the real question is, like, where did he disappear to? Again, you know what I'm saying? You gotta figure out like where did he actually end up disappearing to. Because he was with Bonnie. Last we saw him, last we saw a guy, he was with Bonnie. You know what I'm saying? But that was a dope chapter. It was a dope chapter. Um, interesting. Like we got the we got the whole Weevil thing going on. We see Weevil got captured by Green Bull, but at what time period? So if this is. While Marco was gone. How do? How does that make sense? Marco went to Wano. And Green Bull went to Sphinx Island around the same time. Marco went to Green Bull. But what was the trajectory? Green Bull would have had to either gone to Sphinx Island. Okay, right, because Green Bull showed up afterwards. So Green Bull would have had to actually gone to Sphinx Island. So Weevil was with, was on the ship when, Weevil was on the Navy ships when he was heading to Wano. That's what it seems like. 
that's what it, that's the only thing that makes sense because unless Marco stayed there for a how long was Marco there for? I remember he stick I think he stuck around for a little bit because they showed the little flashback of like him departing and saying bye to everybody and stuff like that. But was that but how long after is the question. But I'm gonna guess or I'm gonna hypothesize that he actually met or he happened to capture Weevil when Marco was still fighting with everybody on in Wano. That's what makes sense. And then from there he went to um we he's strong. I got it. You can't okay. Weevil's up there, but Green Bull is up there too if he's able to actually capture him. Because how much land and stuff like that. But this old lady that they were showing before, I, I think those that's two different people. I don't think it's, I don't think that was Miss Dussie. But she managed to be a part of the Rock Spirits and a part of Mads. Wow, everything's tying together, but dope chapter. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Shout out to my boy Paneeth here. Appreciate you, little bro. Um, we have a break next week. Hopefully that we still get some uh I'm, you know, gonna be watching reactions, seeing people's theories and getting people to connect the dots for me and all that kind of stuff. But no, nah, it was a dope chapter. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Send a love. Good energy to boy Ange. This was goat piece. Let me know y'all predictions inside the uh in the comments below. Let me know um what do you think actually happened to Vegapunk? Why are we having a Gorosei actually come to the island as well? Is he actually going to battle? Um and what else we got We're closing up here? What else happened at the end? <clears throat> I'm dead. I'm dead just because, like, Margo's like, um, well, thanks for showing up and looking after all of it, looking after the homies. But yeah, no, I, I agree. How do you guys agree that that white that Weevil is Whitebeard's son? I think he technically is because he's a clone. It is, it's like that. So it's like, um, Superman and uh, is it Boy Wonder? What do they call him? Super kid? I forget what they call him. Kalel? Yeah, no, they call him Kalel. I think they call the I think they call the younger Superman Kalel or the clone Superman Kalel. I can't remember. It's been a while since I watched Young Justice. But I'm guessing that's that's what my prediction is, at least anyways, though. But it's Ange. I appreciate all y'all. You'll see me in the next one. Send love, good energy. I'm out. Peace.